Lesson 2-3, Practice Skills, Multiplying Rational Numbers. Let's look at some steps before we begin. They will be use, useful in our lesson on today. Step 1. The first thing we must do is change the mixed number to an improper fraction if possible. Change the mixed number to an improper fraction if possible. Now, if you're not taking notes, please do so at this time. It will help you later on. Step two, you are to divide a numerator and a denominator by the GCF if possible. You are to divide a numerator and a denominator by the GCF if possible. You will see a little bit more about this a little later on. Step 3. Multiply the numerators and the denominators. Multiply the numerators and the denominators. If you're not taking notes, once again, please do so. Number 4. Simplify if possible. Simplify if possible possible. Those are your steps. Let's look at today's lesson. Multiply right in the simplest form. Now the first thing we said, look to see if you can cancel something. And if so, please feel free to go on and do that. So we see we can find the GCF for 4 and 10. This is number 4 in your practice skills book. For 4 and 10, we see that it is 2. That is right. So 2 into 4 is 2. And 2 into 10 is 5. Now, notice we have a negative times a positive. It's always going to give us a negative. So 2 times 3 is 6. And 7 times 5 is 35. That was step 3. We multiplied the numerators and the denominators. And we got 6 over 35. And we said, look to see, can you cancel or reduce or simplify? We can't. We are finished. Let's look at problem 5. Oh, and by the way, almost forgot, negative times a positive is negative. Please make sure you add that. All right, let's look at number five in your practice skills book. And we can see that a negative times a positive, let's go on and put our negative sign so we won't forget it. And see, can we cancel anything? And from looking, we can. We can find the GCF for nine and three. And we see that 3 into 3 is 1. And 3 into 9 is 3. That is correct. And we look to see can we cancel anything else. And we can. We can cancel the 2 with the 8. Something in the numerator by something in the denominator. So we say 2 into 2 is 1. And 2 into 8 is 4. Now step 3 says... Multiply your numerators. 1 times 1 is 1. And 3 times 4 is 12. That is correct. And one more example. And please make sure you pay attention to the negatives and the positive um, symbols. Alright, let's go to number 6 in your practice skills um, book. See, can you cancel anything? You can't. We see the greatest common factor for 5 and 5 is 5. So we'll cancel those out. 5 into 5 is 1. That is right. 5 into 5 is 1. And we look to see, do we have anything else? And we do. We have 3 and 9. The greatest common factor is 3. That is correct. 3 into 3 is 1. Good, and 3 into 9 is 3. Now we're at step 3. 
where we multiply the numerators. 1 times 1 is 1. And 1 times 3 is 3. And we have our signs. Negative times a negative is positive. Very good. Um, let's continue with number 10. But before we do that, can we just write the rules out uh, just because positive times a positive equals positive. And a negative, please get this, times a negative equals positive. And a negative times a positive equals a negative. And please don't get these uh, confused with adding and subtracting negative and positive numbers. These are the rules. Please get them down. Put them in your notes. You will be seeing more of them like in problem number 10 in your practice skills book. Number 10. Uh, the first step I believe we said to uh, change the mixed number to an improper fraction. So let's just put a little step here. You change it by multiplying this and adding this. So we got 7 times 1 is 7 plus 3. That will give us 10 over our denominator, which is 7. And our sign was negative. We're going to put it right back. And 5, this is times, this is plus. 5 times 1 is 5, that is correct, plus 1 is 6. And our operation, once again, is multiplication. So we put 6 over 5. Now we are at step 2 where we will look and see can we uh, cancel a numerator and a denominator, and we can. We have a 5 and a 10. We find the greatest common factor, which is 5. 5 into 5 is 1. Very good. And 5 into 10 is 2. And we look to see can we cancel anything else. If we cannot, we just simply multiply our numerators. And notice negative. And a positive is going to give us negative. That is correct. And 2 times 6 is 12. Great. And 7 times 1 is 7. So we accept for where we said to simplify if possible. That will give us or. 7 into 12 is Let's not forget our negative sign now. 7 into 12 is 1. And 7 from 12 is 5 over 7. That is our answer, negative 1 and 5 over 7. OK. Number 11 in your practice skills book. If you have gotten restless, please continue. Let's get back focused with number 11. We see here we have mixed numbers. We say you must change them to improper fractions. And we see that's negative, so it would remain negative. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 will give us 9 over our denominator, which is 4. And we put our sign back, which is multiplication. And same thing here, change our mixed number to an improper fraction, multiply, and add. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5 over 3. Very good. Do we have a numerator and a denominator where we can cancel using the GCF? I believe we do, and it is 9 and 3. So we say 3 into 3 is 1, and 3 into 9 is a 3. And we multiply our numerators, step 3. 
negative 3 times 5 is, that is correct, 15. And 4 times 1 is 4. And step 4 says we can simplify because the numerator is larger than the denominator. So we see how many times 4 can go into 15. It is 3. Let's make sure we put our negative sign. We got 3. And 3 times 4 is 12. And 12 from 15 is a 3. And we put back over our denominator, which is 4. Very good. And let's look at one more example before you begin to work. Uh, remember, we have to change our mixed numbers to improper fractions. This is multiplication. This is addition. 16 times 1 is 16 plus 9 gives us, that is correct, 25. We put it back over our denominator, which is um, 16 times, put our sign back. This is multiplication. This is addition. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 4 is 14. That is so right. And we put it over our, our denominator, which is a 5. We look. We say, can we find a greatest common factor for a number in the numerator and the denominator? Surely we can. 25 and 5. The greatest common factor is, that is correct, 5. 5 into 5 is 1. And 5 into 25 is 5. Now, can we cancel anything else? Yes, we can. 16 and 14. We see that we can find a greatest common factor, which is 2. 2 into 14 is 7. And 2 into 16 is 8. OK, now we move down to multiplying the numerators. Look at your steps. You will see we are following in order. Um, 5 times 7, you are so right, 35. And 8 times 1 is 8. We are at the last step, which says to simplify. And we say 8 into 35. Yes, uh, both numbers are positive, so our answer is going to remain positive. 8 into 35, I heard somebody say 2. And 4, I'm so sorry, I heard someone say 4. 4 times 8 is 32. And 32 from 35 is 3. And we put it back over our denominator, which is 8. Please get this in your notes. It is very important. We'll help you later on. Question.